For our Lenten devotions, we're going to use a story to tell, written by four different Lutheran pastors as they go through the book of Mark. The thing about the book of Mark is he uses the word immediately a lot. There's a sense of urgency. And so as we walk through the 40 days of Lent, preparing ourselves for what is the chief holiday of the Christian church, the death and resurrection of Christ, that we um, take a moment each day to think and remember and to realize that we are responsible for ourselves and our responding in faith to this great gift that God has given us. So as always, we begin this day by remembering all of the hope and the promises that God gives us and the joy that that brings to us. We stop and realize that every day I am the face of God to those that I meet, and I will end each day by thanking God for the blessings that I've received and not just looking at the problems that I encountered and the challenges that we face, but also that God indeed was with us and for us during the day. And so we entrust our lives to him.
Welcome to today's devotion. It is March 9th. We'll be reading Mark chapter 8 with verses 27 through 30. Jesus went on with his disciples into the villages of Caesarea Philippi. And on the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they answered him, John the Baptist, and others, Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. He asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Messiah. And he sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Cynthia L. Hale wrote in More Power Than the Pulpit. One day, a close friend said to me, No one can beat you being you. You have something unique to offer in your preaching and ministry that no one else gives. The people who come to hear you preach come because they want to hear you and what you have to share, the way you share. The drama and tensions that fill the scriptures are intended to help us understand Jesus and his disciples in a variety of ways. In the Gospels, Peter is a leader whose actions don't always match his bold words. In the book of Acts, he becomes a strong witness to Christ. Who do you say that Jesus is? Even without speaking a word, you reveal your answer to this question in many ways that are unique to you. You communicate Jesus' message of grace, redeeming love, healing, justice, and peace by what you do as well as what you say. Rejoice in knowing that God has entrusted the gospel to you and to me. Giver of good news, thank you for the unique ways you equip me to tell the story of Jesus and his love. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you.